brain age, concentration training, smartphones, tablets, laptops, a world of information at your fingertips. How convenient. Or so you might think. Is there a downside? I think so. These modern devices always connected. They may be eroding our ability to concentrate. Does this sound familiar? You're trying to focus on study or work. Yet, you feel compelled to check your email every few minutes. Or you're in a situation where you can't use your phone. And you find yourself getting restless and fidgety. There's a name for this. It's called information addiction. Consequences of information addiction are very scary indeed. Being constantly distracted by new information means that we can't focus on the task at hand. Ah, I almost forgot. I'm Dr. Ryuta Kawashima. Long time no see. I'm still busy conducting research into brain function. I'm here to help you train your brain. I worry that our information-driven society is affecting our ability to concentrate. Of course, information isn't solely to blame. The world is full of distractions, and they're only growing in number. But fear not. To try to help the problem of poor concentration, I've developed some devilishly tricky new training exercises. In fact, I call them devilish training. So what are we waiting for? Let's start devilish training. Devilish training. Sounds pretty tough, huh? You better believe it's tough. In fact, I have to become a bit devilish myself. To make it devilishly tricky, are you ready? That's the spirit. All right. Let's get started with a great example of devilish training. Devilish calculations. These aren't your ordinary calculation problems, though. You'll see each problem displayed one after the other and you have to write the answer to each one. But, the task is not to write the answer to the problem currently being displayed. Instead, you're to write the answer to a problem that was displayed earlier. For one back, you write the answer that was displayed right before the current problem. Let me show you how it's done. Here's the first problem. We need to remember the answer. It's five. Now the next problem appears. We need to write the answer to the previous problem. But before we write our answer, we'll need to memorize the answer to the new problem. The new answer is two. Now, we need to write the answer to the first problem. 
Let's see, I think it was... Right. Now, we memorize the answer to the next problem and write the answer to the previous one. Write again. Now, we memorize the answer to the next problem and write the answer to the previous one. Whoop, that's not it. You can delete your answer with the erase button. Now, we can rewrite our answer. That's the one. All right, it's your turn now. Let's practice one back. Let's practice one back. Remember this answer. Write the answer to the previous problem. Seems it was a bit tough for you. Why don't you try practicing again? Let's practice one back. Remember this answer. Write the answer to the previous problem. That was perfect. Now let's try it for real. The actual training lasts for five minutes. First, let's try one back. Devilish calculations. Start. Okay. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Whoop. Great. Nice. That's it. Last one. That was amazing. You got 85% or more correct. How was your first round of devilish calculations? There's still a long way to go yet. The benefits of devilish training can best be seen if you do the full five minute sessions. So you should always try to see it through to the five minute mark. In devilish training, the level, or difficulty, is constantly adapting to match your ability. In devilish calculations, the level changes according to your score. If you get 85% or more, you'll go up a level. If you get around 75%, you'll stay at the same level. If you get 65% or less, you'll move down a level. In this way, your level changes as you continue to train in five-minute sessions. I hope you'll give it your best. All right then, let's continue with devilish calculations. Your score this time was 85% or more. I think it might have been too easy for you. Let's make it more difficult. 
You scored 85% or more, which means you go up a level.